Hello everyone, I'm Nice Story Gamer, and welcome to my Minecraft tutorial video. So, one of the th I was recently like playing this game with a friend, and you know, she just bought the game, and so I was showing her how to play. It, and I was like, you know what? I always wanted to do a tutorial video. She told me I should should do one, so I figured, you know what? I might as well do this. So, so. So, so let's jump into this. So you just spawned into the world. Uh, looking around, you know, what do you do? Well, I made this little list here of stuff that you should cover. So each of my tutorials will have like a little list, and we're going to tackle each subject. So open the book up. And now, keep in mind, you don't start with a book. I just added this in because it makes things a hell of a lot easier. So first what you do is gather wood. That is really important. So, how do you gather the wood? Well, in order to, to get supplies, you need to get wood. So, punch, oh, hit the wrong button. Hit, hit the wrong button twice. Ignore this. Okay, so, you wanna, you wanna knock down wood. So walk up to this, uh, the tree and, and punch the wood. Hold down the left click. If you only tap it, you'll never break down any wood. So hold it down and get at least three three blocks of wood. This will start you off for now. But okay, so with three blocks of wood, you'll make twelve oak planks. So to make oak planks, what you do is I'll sh show that again. So you take the wood, you put it into your 2x2 uh, two two crafting table here, and if you see in the side, it'll show four wooden planks. Take those, and you're good to go. If you shift click, they're all magically stack. And if you just have a bunch of wood all over the place, if you double click, they'll stack as well. So keep that in mind, it's a pretty useful tool. So. So now I have 16 wood. So I'm gonna have to to make some tools because it will help them. You know, I'm pro I'm not really that that effective right now. So to make tools, you're gonna need a crafting table. That is a must. So put one wooden plank in each of the slots in your crafting table. In your uh yeah, and and you'll end up making a crafting table. Boom. So now you have a crafting table, what, what do you do with it? Well, of course you have to place it down. So, just do something quick, you know, to, you know, hit, hit a good spot to place it, right click. Boom. Now you're going to have to access your crafting table. How do you do that? Right click. Boom. So now that we're in the crafting table, let's do some crafting. So first, we're gonna need some sticks. To make sticks, put one stick on one wooden plank on the bottom, one wooden plank on top. You can use any type of wood to do this. By doing this, you get four sticks. You can also do this in your inventory here. Keep that in mind. So now that I have eight sticks, I'm going to need tools. So I'm gonna show you the basic recipes for all the tools. To make a pick, which is what you're going to want to make first, you put two sticks two sticks in the center. So there should be one in the very center and one uh, in the center bottom. And then you have three wooden planks on top. Now, you can keep in mind that the pick recipe is the same for every material. So when you get stone, same recipe. Two sticks here. Three stone here. When you get iron, three iron, two sticks. Gold, same thing. Diamond, th same thing. So keep that in mind. It's a tease. So make the pick. Now you can start getting some stone. I also just got an achievement there. If you would like, I can do a series based on the achievements. But in Minecraft, they don't really do much. They're just sort of guidelines. So, you know, just keep that in mind. So... You're also going to, we're not going to make this stuff yet, 
but it will be something that we make down the road. So I'll show you the recipes for that when the time comes. But for now, we just need a pick. So what you're going to want to do now is get some stone. Stone is like your main, is a pretty good like starting tool, but you can't get stone without a wooden pick. So let's find some stone. There's some stone in that mountain there. You can also dig and find stone as well. To dig, you just hold down your left click and you dig down. Right, there's stone here, we might as well gather this. So pull out your pick. So keep in mind how your inventory works. If you scroll over stuff and, and you press 1 through 9, the item will automatically go into that slot. So if you see, boom. 2, 5. So, that, so, so as you can tell, it's jumping all, all over the place. You know, it's a pretty good way to, like, sort your inventory. So for now, let's get some stone. We're going to need quite a bit of stone. We're going to need to make a furnace and your tools and a weapon. So it takes eight stone to make a furnace. So we'll grab the eight stone. That's 10. That's also good. Okay, 11, 12, 13. So it takes eight to make a furnace, two to make a sword. That's 10. Three to make a pick. But we're also going to need to make a hoe, a shovel, and an axe. So, a shovel takes one stone. Boom. An axe takes three. And a hoe takes two. Now, I'll go show you how to make this stuff. Keep in mind, you only have ten minutes of daylight. So you're going to have to do this fairly quick, because we're not even close to being done yet. So you're going to make sure you can move really quickly. So go back to your crafting table or just take it with you. You know, once you place something down, you can still pick it back up and, and take it with you. So keep that in mind. Okay, so now we're going to need to make a stone pick. Stone picks are a lot better. And, and you can gather iron with them. Next, you're going to want to make a shovel. An axe. And we seem to be out of sticks. No big deal. Take this. You know, make some more sticks. If you need sticks, make some more. Take. Two, uh. Two cobblestone like this to make a hoe. Now keep in mind, it's the same recipe for everything, so I can also make a wooden hoe. So keep that in mind. Or I can make a, wood, a, a wooden shovel. Or a wooden axe. You know, it's the same exact recipe for, for everything. Also keep in mind, you, you can make it on the other side. So instead of having it on the left side, you can have it on the right side. Keep that in mind. So, last we're going to need is a, sh a sword. You know, in case we do get attacked, we have a sword, and we can also use the sword to kill animals. So, so, so far, so good. We have, we have all our basic tools. We got a weapon. We got a stone pick, stone shovel, stone axe, and a stone hoe. So, what's next on our list? We got stone. We made the weapons and tools. Now, we need to gather food and make a base. This can be done at the same time. And if you want, gather more wood. You know, because you're always going to need wood. You, you never know, you know where you're going to want to make a house or what you're going to want to do. So gather wood. And also keep in mind that oak wood and dark oak wood will also drop apples. So like, if you break the leaves, you have a chance of getting apples. And it's also getting late, so we're going to have to hurry this up. No, so, normally you, you will have to be a lot faster than I am. But, you know, I'm doing a tutorial and I'm taking my time. So, we'll take this on crafting table with us. So, we're going to need a base and we're going to need food. So,
So let's. Uh, so since we gather some stone over here, this would be a pretty good base. But since you know, this is a tutorial, and I'm taking a little longer to explain this stuff. But the the magic of cheating, I'm gonna make a day. Ignore what I'm doing, because that's not important for you guys right now. Okay, so normally you won't be able to do this, but you know, I'm doing a little bit of cheating, but you know, it's to make this a lot smoother for your first time. Okay, so this is a sheep. I'll go over what the animals do, but you're gonna need to at least kill three sheep because you're gonna want their wool. Afterwards, you can start like uh, using shears. But that's something for another time. So you're going to need at least three, so kill three sheep. No need to kill any more. They are going to end up adding food to sheep. So when you kill them, you will get mutton. But for now, that's not the case. We are going to need to find food, and we are going to need to find a base. Now, the great thing about Minecraft is you can make a base anywhere, which is awesome. Okay. Sorry about that. I had to cough. So, so if you want to make a base inside this mountain here, you can do that. If you want to make j j j dig a hole, you can do that as well. But, but for now, but like, but for now, keep in mind that this is only my way of playing. There are other ways of playing Minecraft. Everyone has their own play style, you know, how they mine, you know, how they fight, that sort of thing. So. But they, these are just basic guidelines. You know, once you know, you know, once you sort of know how to play, you can go on from there. So, so here's something pretty interesting. This is coal. Coal is going to be really useful. Coal is, is what you use to make to torches and cook your food. So let's get so 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 let's gather this. So, as you may tell by Look, look at how fast it takes me to dig through this stone with my stone pick. So that's pretty quick. Now watch how fast it takes me to dig with the wooden pick. As you can tell, it's a lot slower. So you're going to want to upgrade. One thing you don't want to use for upgrades is gold. Though gold is really stylish and pretty, the properties of it are a lot weaker. So by using stone, I mean, uh, so by using gold, you are not not really making the best tools. They also break re uh, really quickly. But that that's for another time. So now that you you've got some coal, you're going to want to make some, some torches to light your way. Torches are really easy to make. One stick, one piece of coal, like so. You have four torches. You, you can also do this with a crafting table. So, so uh, if, if any recipe takes only the basic 2x2 two two blocks, you, you can do that in your inventory without using a crafting table. Now, since we're here, this is lava. Don't go swimming in lava. Sounds silly, but I know a lot of people who do it. So don't. You'll die. Very painfully. So for now, we're looking for a base and looking for some more food. Once you find it, you should be pretty good to go. But you know, for now, I have two raw chickens, so that should be good for now. So let's you know, let's just make a little base in this mountain over here. Now, as I said, you know, you can make whatever you want for a base. If you wanted to, you could find this spot here, dig straight down. And make yourself a little cave, or you, or you, you know, find find caves like this, and you know, turn this into your base. You know, drain the water out, and you're pretty good to go. You can also dig in the mountains, or you know, cut down some wood and build yourself a little hut. For now, I I think I'm I'm just gonna build a house. This here's all. This here's also a cave. By by exploring caves, you will find. A lot of supplies. And you can also use this as a house as you want. But for now, I'll build something pretty simple. Nothing too fancy, just to sort of give you give you guys the idea of what a house looks like. Now, 
at first you're not gonna want like a super fancy health. It, if you're gonna try focusing on looks the the very f first few minutes, you're you might have a rough time, and you want to make sure you have a house so when nighttime comes. You're, you're going to be really safe and not die immediately. Down there, you'll also see some iron. But, once again, we'll cover that when we get there. So this is like a pretty nice spot. I tend to like flat areas to build, because it's a lot easier to add on to what you're building. So, this is like a nice place full of flowers. So now, let's build a house. So put your wood into the, the crafting slot. If you shift click, it will automatically make every single piece of wood into wooden planks. So let's build a quick house. Something nice, you know, not, not too fancy, just enough to be like, you know what? We have a little p place to sleep, a little place to, to stay, and call our own. So. Now, you can make the house as big as you want, as small as you want, you know, it's up to you. But make sure it does what you want it to do at first. Oops. Now, you will make mistakes, you know. We all do. But, you know, just be careful. So... I'll hurry up and make this house, and then we'll, I'll cut back when it's done. Okay, so I have like a basic house made, you know, it's not too fancy, but it'll basically do its job. Now, you don't have to make it three blocks high, I just did it because I get a little claustrophobic. So by doing this, you know, you have room to jump, and you have some room to move. So if you wanted to, you can add, you can add like a floor. So like I have like this birch wood. So I'll, so let's add a nice floor. One thing you don't have to do this if, if you don't want to, you know. But if you have the if you have the, the supplies, you know, looks are looks are important. But you don't have to. But you know, don't focus don't focus heavily on looks until you at least feel safe and and, and secure. So now that we have this floor set up. We're going to want to sort of get established. So, first place down your crafting table. Now, you're going to want to get some food cooking. How do you do that? Well, you're going to need to make a, a good old furnace. Now, to do that, as you just saw, you put one cobblestone ar around the edge. And you ignore the center. And then boom. You have yourself a good old furnace. Place it however you want. And then bam. So now you're going to want to use this furnace to cook stuff. But as you can tell, it's getting late. We have a, a wide open door. This is dangerous. Time to make a door. To make a door, follow what you see here. Three wood, side by side, make it a total of six wood, will make one door. Now, you can either place it on the inside like this, which looks, you know, somewhat ugly, but, you know, some people prefer it. Or you can place it like this. Do as you wish. So, now that we have the furnace set up, we're pretty safe, nothing can get us. Depending on your difficulty, monsters will knock down your door. So, right now, I have my difficulty set on hard. That's the wrong option. On hard. Okay, it's here somewhere. There it is. So, on hard, enemies will knock down my door. But it's really not that big of a threat. But, you know, just keep that in mind. So, now that I have a furnace made, we're going to need to cook some food. So, put some coal in here. Put some chicken in there. And boom. You're, you're cooking yourself up some food. But we're also going to need a bed. Now, keep in mind that, you know, you're not always going to find chickens around you or sheep or anything like that. So, so you're going to have to make do. Don't get yourself killed trying to find some sheep. Be safe. So, but since we were lucky, we found some sheep. I'll show you how to make a bed. 
So you put three wooden planks on the bottom, three wools on top, and you have yourself a bed. We can now sleep the night away. Place the bed down, right click it, and you'll sleep. When you awaken, it'll be daylight outside. All the monsters will be slowly dying. If you sleep really early, the, the monsters will basically will not appear because you went to sleep too early. So keep that in mind if you want if, if, if you're working on something and don't want to get killed. So as you just saw there, I, I eat my chicken. You eat it by holding it in your hand and holding it down to your right click. Last last I want to show you guys, what if you don't find coal right away? How are you gonna cook your food? You don't want to eat raw chicken. That's that's disgusting. You can get sick from that. So Chop down some wood. Now, here's the beauty of this. You can, if you cook the wood as it is, so you see how the, how the wood is, plain old oak wood, and you, you can use some other wood. You can use wood, you can use uh, saplings, sticks, whatever you have, and you can smelt the wood into charcoal. Charcoal has the same exact properties as coal. Keep that in mind. So, charcoal can be used the exact same way. I can use charcoal to make some torches. Boom. Torch. I can make, and then I can use it to cook food and cook stuff up. So it has the same exact properties, it's just something that you can get earlier instead of Trying to find coal, cause you know not all that like, you won't find coal every single time. But for now, I think this will conclude our very first episode in our tutorial series. Later on, I will explain all the different monsters, what they do, how how they act. I'll go in into depth in mining, and maybe do like a bit of a tutorial on building. But once again, a lot of the stuff is up to you. You know, it's however you want to build. It's however you want to have your adventure. Like, as I said, like, I could have built this house into a wall. Just dug a hole, set up the stuff like how, how I have it, or however you want to have it set up, and you're good to go. So, keep in mind that this bed is also glitched out right now. It's really odd. But, yeah. So, I hope, hope this helped. Um, please let me know, you know, what you guys think. It'll, it'll be, uh, you know, a huge help for me. And if, if it's something I haven't covered and you're a little curious about, maybe there's an item. I'll also go over items as well, but if, if it's an item that you really want me to do, let me know and I will do a bit, a bit of a tutorial. So in our next tutorial, we will cover monsters or the basic monsters for now. See you guys then.